Hey folks, how you guys doing today? Hey folks, I would like to change it up and I would like to start doing this beautiful art, these beautiful paintings I have. I A big part of my, so on my show folks, I am non-stop anything that has to do with, you know, older, vintage, antique, collectibles. I specialize mostly in, you know, United States paper money, coins stamps collectibles antiques old toys clocks wind up battery tin you name it anything that's older and cool and collectible folks i'm interested it's just real that basic so i'm sorry let's go back to here so these here folks i start to identify these right away i love you know like i said the frames is another big part of these it's not just the art in it a lot of times you'll see you know like you know these here before i do anything you know of course you you know pass your test from you know look touch feel age you can see a lot from the back which i'm gonna flip this over i think that this is a beauty right here folks i just think that this has some beautiful you know depth to it and character and art and like i says i'm not a uh i'm by far folks no expert in anything to do with paintings you know hopefully you guys out there and you guys can give me some of your feedback i just admire these beauties especially from the paintings you know excuse me from the uh frames i also collect old and antique frames are beautiful you might take some other ones and put them into the other ones. I like to just carefully flip this around the back because this will tell the story, folks. I apologize for a second as I'm just going to use one hand here. So let's start going into the back. So right away, folks, as I flip this over, I think, you know, the back, I think, tells the tale before I even begin to even look in the front. I'll take, you know, if it looks interesting, if it looks like it has art, if it has detail, if it has depth, if it has incredible, because anybody can paint, you know what I mean? So the, the thing is, how does your painting look? <laughs> and how does your, you know, art look and stuff like that? Are you, you know... So right away, I flip this bad baby, and you can start to see in the back the tail, especially when I start looking until the old age wood. You can see the uh, key wedges here that they used before the brackets came out that I showed you in the previous uh, video, how they added brackets to these you start to notice the workmanship you look at the canvas i look at everything folks i look at every nail i look at every older nail see it every old nail will start to give you dates i look at the wood this all you know had some type of paper i, I would assume in the back because it has the paper this looks like it might be some type of uh not sure and it doesn't look like it's a mold it looks like they added another trim to it from there this could be plaster we don't know like i said it looks like it so this is just amazing how they just add on to the frame with plaster or you know like i said i'm not an expert but that's what it's looking like a beauty right here that i found i believe this one i got it was yes it was another thrift store I pop in all the time, folks. I know that, you know, most of the time, gee, if I had a dollar for every time I walked into a thrift store and I got zero, I would probably be rich. But I just go, like I said, it's not just about the money. It's about a hobby. It's about, you know, stress relief. It's about, you know, fulfilling your heart. You're, so you know how collecting is, folks. There's a passion behind here. This is not just about the money. The money is the last thing to tell you the truth that I really care about when I deal with these beauties. And if you find something like this and it's a score, 
and you're able to list these and sell these folks go online right look at the auction platforms okay look at the huge 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 demand and sales just google the you know old master paintings and you'll see these beauties that come in and old masters anybody that internship or worked in europe before the 1600 is an old considered an old master and look at like the paintings they have and look at you know look at the you know when you see now now when you google the old master you'll say to yourself gee now you know exactly what you mean I, i've never seen any type of you know like art and the way they draw and you know how it just comes to life the paintings like i says me folks i'm by far no expert but i have a huge advantage of identifying you know the wood the material the nails the key wedges the frames how they stretch these out if they've been re aligned like i said you know there's just so much and like i said folks i go on and on every day as i learn as well but besides the painting i just love collecting these older frames i have these antique and old frames i have like i have so many of these and they're such a beauty folks if you give me a moment i gotta just be very careful because i don't want to I hate handling these with one hand or anything like that, but I just be very, very careful with these. And you can see, I mean, I think that, you know, this is a beautiful, beautiful drawing. You can see the crackle, you can see the oil. Before I do anything, folks, you know, like I said, you know, could this be a little bit of repair? Like I says, I do not touch any, I do not do anything to these at all. You know, maybe, you know, will I? wipe some dust off of the frame maybe i won't go into any of the areas i won't touch anything like that at all even this here this is just the way that i got it this has you know this is just aging this has nothing to do with me i don't even uh, to tell you the truth i don't even want to wipe these down i mean you know maybe maybe very, very little i don't even want to touch these or disturb these because i've seen what people just ruin these beauties right here another beauty folks right here i have so many beautiful things i'd like to show you in my channel i know i've been like i says i've only been you know that my channel's only been a few months folks and i appreciate you guys out there the love and everything if you guys have any you know like i says folks you can follow me along you know learn save collect build money have fun take a dollar and making millions i hope folks because you can just walk in you know with a dollar that i taught you guys if you've been watching my channel folks okay you should be able to walk into the various banks or find them on you one dollar and i want you guys to sell this for 25 or 100 and then keep on going so from my channel from one dollar you should be able to make thousands of dollars that's your challenge that's up to you i do it all the time i find vases and glasses and porcelain and you know folks i spent one time five dollars and i got this rickwood pottery and i sold it for like 425 it was just unreal there was like there was only like uh 10 unique pieces i guess ever made so this is a beauty you know and like i said you know does the, does it look attractive i also want to just show you guys right i wish i had the uh room or the space but i'm going to start to make some so what i do is i'll buy five to ten different paintings and pieces okay yes mostly a real i actually do want to show you guys one where i found an antique fake it looks like an old master and then when you put it in the loop folks you know but you know straight off the bat right the beginning i put the loop right in my eyes and i put it right on there and all in, in a few places and I'm able to identify the brush marks. This is the only way that you can identify anything to see if it's real, to see if the strokes and the brush marks. Be, you know, beware of machines, folks, because once you put the loop, folks, you'll see the pixel, in other words, the dots that it was, that's a machine print. It's just amazing how that they, they can fake anything like that. So, so the number one is it passes through the loop in your eyes, right? Great. You can go close, you can see the brush marks 
Let's go closer. See, folks, you can see the brush marks here just being, um, you know, magnified. I only have two on my phone times two. And I'll show you guys. See it? So you can see, you see this beautiful depth in the brush marks? This is what we're looking for with the loop, folks. See it? So you can see this one, you know, not even putting the loop in your eye. But I want you guys to be very careful so you can see the green and you can see the red and you can see the brush marks right here, you know, on the flowers and everything. See the brush marks, folks? See that? You will not see that if they were machined. They would not have no brush strokes. You can see immediately if it's a fake or if it's original painted. Right off the bat. That's it. One plus one equals two. Nothing else. I've seen, I, you know, if it wasn't for the loop, folks, I'm not kidding you guys, at times 40, I would have bought so many fakes and phonies. Look at this. You can see the brush marks. Look at the brush marks here, folks, before I even put put the loop in my eye. Look, you can see them. You know, folks, you know, collecting, art, I understand it takes years. It takes time. It takes you know, effort, it takes dedication, it takes travel, it takes fuel, and it's in on that, but it's not astrophysics. You're not solving, like, you know, equations and stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, these folks have gone to school, and they specialize in things that, gee, I would probably don't even know if I would even ever learn in, you know, 10 lifetimes of what they know. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I highly, you know, respect these folks. That's what they do. A lot to anything, even to investing, even to buying, even to collecting, a lot's like logic. Look at this. See it? Look at the brush marks. And I'll put some phonies up, folks. I want to show you guys, folks. I can't say it enough when I got this. You know, when I bought that one at the flea market, I said, gee, you know, from far away, I said, gee, it looks too good to be true, right? This looks like a master, right? So, what do you know? I put the loop up to, excuse me, I put the... um you know, from the back, and it looks very aged. I put the loop up to it, and you can see where it was machine pigment, and then they just did a little brush here and there to throw it off. I think that those people were selling, you know, these paintings 100 years ago for, you know, for masterpieces, and people were paying big money. So I, I think this one here, folks, I think I paid, gee, I think I paid $8 for this one here. Just the frame alone and the knowledge for me is priceless, folks. I'll tell you that. I appreciate you guys out there. Thank you guys very much. I like to change it around and step it up on my channel. I like to go into the art. I have some beautiful pencil sketches that are original that I found. I have oil. I have latex. I have lithos. I have all, all types of uh, different art. I want to show you guys this beauty, but I got to put it up to more light. I appreciate you guys out there. Like I said, folks, I learn every day, folks, nonstop as I go along as well. If you have any comments, if you have any, you know, questions that I'm making, if you have any answers too, because we'd love to hear, you know, of course out there, because, you know, YouTube is a very powerful platform. Probably one of the most powerful platforms in the world is YouTube. And, go, of course, Google, you know, the you know, Alphabet, the power company, but... Gee, I wish I uh, could have created Google huh, years ago, folks, right? Genius. I take my hat off to you guys out there, Google. I appreciate you guys out there. Thank you.